As we can see, the Austrian spy cat has been watching me once again. It's about 7 o'clock at night here in America. And I have come out to take a picture of my bike to show all my friends on YouTube what I'm doing. Now, what is this cat looking at? There must be another cat around here somewhere. Anyway, it's 7 o'clock at night. It's starting to get dark. We have some lights on. Nice little neighborhood. Not a cloud in the sky. But it may, have, may be a good contrast for the bike. I was going to take the bike out of the truck this morning. And I was too lazy to do it. So I took it to work and I thought I would take a picture of it. The one nice thing about the bike this year is that um, I went to my storage, other my other shop where I keep all three bikes. I have the 1985 uh, Honda Gyro three-wheeler. It started right on the first try because I had a good battery this time and not some cheap ass Chinese battery which a good friend of mine in China said do not buy their batteries because they're worthless so I bought a gel battery or something like that and as you can see the front panel here I don't know if you can see it but all these are wear marks from years of just being old this bike was purchased in 1993 by me, brand new. I didn't do anything but change the spark plug for the first 10 years. And then I saw a thing on the internet where you could get a, a, a bigger um, cylinder head and get more power. Well, that was totally new to me. And you could get it out of Germany and it was aluminum. So I, I contacted a shop in Hawaii, and they do a lot of these motorcycle rebuilds. And what he did was, so he sold me a, that's a cool dog. He sold me a, a cylinder head, and I built my first 65cc engine, which consisted of a metric kit um, cylinder with an oversized piston it also came with a, a stock um, larger jet for the 14 millimeter stock carburetor and what I did was I, when I bought the metric kit from him Steve Vantrese at uh, VT Cycles that's I believe that's what VT stands for, uh, Van Trees. Him and his brother started it, or his brother started it. Anyway, if you'd like to get parts from um, Steve, and it, it, the thing about him and his shop, VT Cycles in Hawaii, on Baratania Street in Honolulu, and I've never been to Hawaii, is that uh, there are many um, moped shops there, I understand. I've never been there. But he has offered me solid gold service from day one. And most of my parts are purchased from him. You can go to his website, which is vtcycles.com. He may not have all of the parts offered at his shop on the website. He may or may not. I'm not sure. But if you give him a call and ask him, um, you can get some great parts for the Honda. And I don't know what other uh, brands he sells. Also, if you want to um, buy things from Steve Ventries on eBay, he has a website. And you go on to eBay and you push, you spell fast. F A S T 
and then you see where it says one well you've already got fast what you do is you type in a two fast two and then you type in wheels w h e e l s so his ebay store is fast two wheels and he's got some interesting stuff there if you're interested in buying parts and I'm always trying to help him out because he's always helped me out a lot of a lot of guys from Hawaii have said well how come you favor the shop and and um, how come you're always plugging this uh, gentleman and I say you know uh, Hawaii has some of the fastest racers in the United States I mean in the world but I've never been to Hawaii. I've only dealt with Steve. I'm very loyal. He's like family. Him and Keone, they're like family. And I'm loyal to my family. So I purchased carburetors from him here. Oko, I needed some uh, chrome dress up parts like the um, clutch cover. This is not a stock item, but I asked him if he had something like that, and he was able to find one for me, which is great, you know, because, you know, usually if if you don't have a part number or whatever, the, these companies are like, too bad, whatever. This is the front cover. It was chrome. He threw this one in comp or free, this Honda lever, which was really cool, and he doesn't have to throw in anything to me free. I don't know, you know, what his prices are to me or anyone else. Uh, so I never mentioned prices, but he's always been solid gold plated service. And that to me means more than anything. Because when I ask Steve and I say, listen, I need these racing brakes, or I need um, this special CT intake, which, let's see if I can point it out, which is right here. Okay. And, uh, or I need, um, you know, for the deal, or the Honda Elite, as is known in the United States, he has it. Or if I need this water-cooled kit right here, which goes right all the way up to a radiator, if it's in here, you know, do you have this? Steve said, yeah, I've got it, no problem. Um, you know, this, this is what it'll cost and I'll have it sent to you. And that's all that needs to be said. And he delivers every time. For instance, this, um, and I can't, I'm up on my tiptoes, but this uh, uh, speedometer hooks into the regular speedometer cable, which comes right down to the main wheel. And I had to um, do some work to put it under the cover take out the regular um, not speedometer but the odometer I've had this in for a number of years and that's from Fongier and Steve has also sold me he didn't sell me this straight pipe here I got the straight pipe somewhere else I don't like buying anything anywhere else from but sometimes um, I, I buy things from you know different different suppliers but the more majority of my stuff is from VT Cycles. I bought every Fongier pipe that is known to man. And I even bought one pipe I regret selling back to him. That was a black. What the hell was the name of that? Um, it was a black pipe. And I had it, and I wasn't using it, and Steve knew I had it. And I had it for like a year or two years. And he knew I had it. And he said, well, I need it for my um, Honda Magic, whatever the hell that is. So I said, well, what, you know, what do you want to do? Sell it to me? Trade it? He goes, he goes dude, I've got, I've got these, um, these special wheels. I can trade you. Or I have this disc brake setup 
for the front end of the bike that um, a used one I can sell you and I would love to have a disc brake setup. The deal is this, um, and I'll, it's late, I've had a couple of beers, but this bike does zero to 70 miles an hour in four seconds. It's that fast with my fat ass on it. If I was young and in shape, like some of these Hawaiian riders or some of these Singapore riders or Japanese riders or uh, uh, some of the massive racers from the Philippines that weigh 140 pounds, I'd be dead by now because this thing would be so fast. And, but to get a disc, disc brake conversion runs about seven or eight hundred dollars. And I'm like, well, you know, God, I only paid twelve hundred for the bike brand new. And I think it'd be nice to order one, but I'm, you know, I'm still not sure. I, I don't know. I mean, for safety reason, I'd love to have that. I'd love to have, instead of the drum brake, I'd rather have the disc brake. And then maybe I'd like to go with a Japanese headset, which I'm still not sure what a Japanese headset is. And then another thing that's bummed me out, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get off this tangent and um, go post this, is that this bike is a 1993 to, an, it's a 1993. They changed the body style in 1994, which basically only, they only changed the engine. But the body, they discontinued in 2001. I can't get some of these parts. Um, I'd like to get a new undercarriage that holds this I can't do it I can get a whole bunch of stuff but I can't get they're starting to discontinue the parts and that's real nice but if you live in Europe and you have um, 50 or 60 different two strokes that are, 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 are some of the most beautiful examples that you can buy you get to America you think well god you know um, I can buy a space shuttle I can buy a submarine I can buy a F-15 fighter jet, but I can't buy a damn moped. Anyway, I'm going to post this. Thank you.